Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Vlogis and the Mediterranean Lifestyle Immersion Month. It is a beautiful day out. I'll show you the sky. It's gorgeous out but it's so unbearably hot. It's already in the 90s and it's really not even that late yet. Which is really putting a damper on things because it's either been so hot or just pouring rain every day in August so far. And I really miss taking my walks in the park because this is not supposed to just be a diet month. It's supposed to be the whole Mediterranean lifestyle, which includes taking walks, strolls around the neighborhood or strolls in the park or just getting out into nature and just being active in general and not just all about food. Um, but because it's so hot, um, I think we're going to make a cold supper tonight. So I'm going to make some chicken salad. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put around it yet, um, but I just cannot bear the thought of putting on the oven or standing over the stove today because it's just so hot. <laughs> Did I say it's hot? <laughs> well, thank you for joining me today. I hope we have fun. I got these eggs at our local farm market and while they're not organic, they are free range and GMO free. And you can actually go and visit their chicken coops if you want to. So you kind of know where they're coming from. And they're really beautiful eggs, as you can see. Woke up hungry and making a big breakfast. We're going to each have two eggs over easy with some English muffins. I don't make pretty eggs, but they're always tasty. Versus Kaiser Rolls or Lissio's Kaiser Rolls? We're the two Italian bakeries that are now competing. Well, we went for the Lissio's, they won out today. Here are the ingredients for my chicken salad. I bought some pre-shredded rotisserie chicken from the supermarket so that I don't have to already pull it apart. Because sometimes I'll buy a rotisserie chicken and I'll just pull it apart by hand, or we'll eat it and then I'll use what's left over to make chicken salad. But they had a whole package of it already pre-shredded and it really saves a lot of time. I'm gonna put some onion in, some minced onion, and I have this red onion, which I think is nice for salads. I have some flat leaf parsley from the garden, and I usually put in mayonnaise and then, or veganaise, but I'm out of it, so I'm gonna use mayonnaise and a little touch of mustard and then some salt and pepper. It's really simple and I hope you try it because it's really good. and colorful. I'm making some guacamole, so I have three small avocados cut up here. This one doesn't look too nice around the edges, so I'm not gonna use all of it. So normally I would use two. I'm gonna add some onion, some garlic, some lime juice, some a little bit of tomato. I like to put a little bit of tomato in and some salt and pepper. Also gonna make some salsa, but I have a whole video already on how to make my salsa, so I'm just gonna link that up above. So here's the diced avocado. I'm gonna add some red onion, some cilantro, some garlic, tomato. They didn't have jalapeno at the store, so I'm putting a little bit of cherry pepper in and some lime juice and then salt and pepper, of course. So here goes. Making 
some baked tortilla chips. So I'm taking these tortillas and basting them lightly on each side with some olive oil. And I'm going to cut them into triangle shapes and bake them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's recipes. I tried to keep everything as cool as possible on this hot summer's day. And I'd love to learn from you too. So tell me, what are your favorite things to make on days where it's really hot and you just don't want to get all hot and bothered in the kitchen? <laughs> Have a nice evening and I hope you join me tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know exactly when my videos go live. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.